enable the YouTube automatic subtitles if you have trouble listening. Welcome to Zaploop. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to receive messages via the Bubble webhook on the backend workflows. But first, let's do a quick recap what is this product. Zaploop is not an official API. It's a cheap WhatsApp API automation and is not intended for real-time copies of WhatsApp web. Zaploop is a solution for push notifications via WhatsApp, meaning sending alerts and notifications to your users. It's a cheap replacement for the Twilio API. How cheap it is? It's $9 per month per phone connected. Meaning, if you need 10 phones connected, your bill is $90 per month. If you need a thousand phones connected, we can make dedicated servers starting at $50. Please get in contact with us to talk about that. So let's start. How to start to receive messages via web webhook? The process for receiving messages and QR codes are basically the same. You, we need to initialize an endpoint on the Bubble backend. So first of all, let's open our Bubble app and create the Bubble backend. Uh, the step two is open a startup page on Zaploop. The third step is start a session and pass the Bubble endpoint as a webhook URL. This will only initialize the workflow, meaning we have to redo this, removing the initialize part from the endpoint URL. And then you can start receiving messages again to check if the messages are saving to your bubble database. Also, please remember on the plugin page, you can access to the demo app where you have a lot of functions already made and you can click here to open the editor for this app and check how all the workflows work, okay? You can go here and check exactly how you send a message and etc. The only thing you can't do here is receive messages via the backend because the backend functions are a paid feature on Bubble. So for that, you will need a bubble account that's a paid plan, okay? So there, then you can access to the backend workflows. This option is not enabled, you have to enable that on the API tab on settings and enable the workflow API and backend workflows. This is the server functions, okay? So here we are going to create a new API workflow to get messages. Don't put any strange names here. Let's enable to, this workflow can be run without authentication. And this is a URL, okay? So we can see what's the URL here, change it to detect request data. Click here and detect the data and you have the URL to your bubble server, okay? This is your endpoint. This is called endpoint. So if you don't have already a session that's working here to test here, let's do a session here. So this is the URL for connecting new sessions. Let's start with Tiago. Let's run a session here. The session key you can leave like one, two, three, or whatever. Let's scan the code. You must take your phone, and scan the QR code. It will take a second. And it is now a success. If by any chance you happen to get an error here, uh, sometimes the error is just like a, a 
miss fired error here, that should be okay. So the session name for our session is Tiago, and the password is 123, okay? If you want to test this for free, you can test this for free for two days, you can use whatever session you want. Note that we could have uh, passed the endpoints here, but that is no problem because we can set them again later on this page. We have a function to set the webhooks for connection status and etc. Okay, meaning we can set them later. Let's start this page a little bit. So our session name is Tiago. We can send a message to someone. We can write this is we need the session name and the key and the the people we are sending that message to for all the things we are going to do. So let's try something here and send the message. This is the ID of the message created, meaning it the result is okay and going to the whatsapp we can check the message was actually sent so let's try again that's true okay everything okay so let's continue this is our endpoint but our session, the session Tiago, is not set to send the message to that endpoint. So we're gonna change that with this function. Remember, this function is exactly the same one that is available on your plugin here. So if you go to your plugin, you can use this function that's called set webhook, okay? can pass the URLs at any times inside your own app at any time okay. for example here set webhooks it will just use this function to set the webhooks but here we can just use it anyway so where do we want to receive the messages we want to receive the messages at our backend on our app that is here so let's go to detect data and wait on this page right here so copy this and paste it here on the receive new messages let's set the webhooks they are set and let's send a message to our number and see if it works so testing a message I just sent from another different phone to my phone a simple type text message okay so we have a lot of things to check here for example what is the type of the message text it is from me no it's false it's from someone else the ID is the ID of the message received each message has a unique ID the session name, meaning what's the person that sent in uh, session. This is a group message, no. The name of whom sent the message, it's another phone. This is the name on my contact list. To and from, this is the content of the message. Timestamp, etc. Please, again, please note that if you send if by any chance we, when you are testing this you receive a message from a group or an audio or location or whatever the type here will be different and the content here instead of a message if you get receive an image the image will come as a base 64 encrypted message so decrypt or decode a base 64 you simply use something like base 64 decode okay uh, if you want to show a message you don't even need, need to do this you just need to pass that on the source of a 
HTML image tag. Okay, on the source of the image tag, you send past the data 64 or Google it. Okay, so let's save this and let's make it to as each time we receive a message here, what's going to happen? Each time a message comes through, I will start the message as a WhatsApp message here. I already um, started here. So you can create a thing on your database like this. But there is an issue. So you can you can type in whatever you want here. You must use the request data. That's the initialization. So for example, when we receive a text message, the content is set. The type is set. Sorry. The session who made this. Also, if you want to receive a lot of webhooks, you send all of them here and you will have to uh, differentiate how to store them based on the session. Meaning if you have several users, each user will have their own session name, okay? You differentiate them by using this, okay? This is the to and etc. okay? This is the from. But please notice the following. If you go to the Zeploop what's website, you can go to the JSON webhooks. Here's the documentation. And you have to copy all this because if you want to receive message the as images, the images come as base64 decoded, okay? So you have to add all these fields to the bubble backend. So let's copy this and let's configure it correctly here on our backend. So how do we do this? Let's go again to the backend workflow. Let's modify the types, scroll to the bottom left corner show the data and let's go to edit raw data on the right corner delete everything and copy so here we have all the types that are possible for example a list response when you send a list and someone responds will receive a list response for example right if you send a button and the client Respond and reply back with a button. It will send you the selected button ID, for example. Okay. If they send a location, you will receive the location description, the latitude and longitude of the location, content, the base 64. This is used for images, files. Files can be audio files, etc. And you can know if it's an audio file or PDF or uh, OG, OGG file by the MIME type, that's the extension of the file. Caption is used only for images, so when an image has a text, it's called the caption. Okay, so let's save this. And now, when we are creating the message, we can store the base 64 like this. Okay. We have all we need. Oh no, just a little step. So the thing is, our session in the our Zeploop database is still pointing to this endpoint, but this is just a bubble thing. We we already said this. Now we just need the last part without the initialize. So we need to set the webhooks again. Okay because otherwise if you leave it as this it will not store your messages here on your database it will not start new messages 
So you have to initialize again. So let's do that again. It's the same exact step, just remove the initialize and we'll set. And okay, this means that on the zap loop database now it will send the webhooks to here. Okay. So how do we test this? I enter as a, another different number and I will send a message to the connected phone. Okay. So let's send a message here. It's sent. It's refreshing automatically. Let's check. And the text content is the emojis we sent. Let's see what happened when we send a image. Choose an image. Let's send. And it's already received an, a base 64 image here. Okay. How do you read this? You just use an HTML image like this this is very basic you put this element on your repeating group and instead of source you pass this exact same code here okay this field you pass here and it will should work with without any blurriness to the image okay because it's the full image encoded as a text file okay and that's it and that's uh, the exact same process for receiving the QR codes to connect new people, okay? Just remember that uh, we have costs to connect each phone. So if you connect a lot of phones, they will um, cost us all so much. So we automatically disconnect phones that are not on a paid status, okay? If you have any questions, please reach out to us. You can check our phone. This is our phone for support. It will be in the video description and comments also, okay? Don't forget to check also this app to check all the workflows to send messages, how to send um, files, etc. okay? But here we want to send a message or with a caption, it will send here. And it should be here somewhere. This is guy. Also, we have a, a new surprise for you guys. This is now the V1, it's a very full API with a lot of API calls but it has some connecting problems because it's more it's, um, requires more RAM and it's, it has some emulation it has to load a lot of data from WhatsApp web so we use a new technology to just get the connection and this Zeploop V2 will it's very very rare to lose the connection it stays open all day, all night it is very good so you definitely should check this for example let's say oh, I already have connect some con phones connected for but for so for example if you try to connect you will see that it's stupidly fast okay and it never almost never um, has any connection issues it's very fast and it's lighter so if you need a server with thousands of connections you can reach out to us to test the v2 okay